we always felt like the magic of this character is that anyone can be behind that mask. And why the reason we fell in love with the Miles Morales from the comics is that um, Brian Bendis put a completely new character back there. And he's from Brooklyn, he's got a strong family, um, he's a little bit younger. So we just thought that it was a great way to kind of remix the Spider-Man story and, and tell it from a different point of view. One cool thing about the Spider-Man is that when you put on that mask, no one knows what you look like. Uh, no one knows, uh, and it could be anybody. And so this movie, not only with, with Miles and Peter, but also with Gwen and all the other characters that get introduced, uh, you know, it feels like anybody, whether you're a human or a pig, can, can look at the screen and go like, I see myself there, and I can imagine myself in this scenario. And it's true for, you know, for everybody, and so it feels really exciting to, to send a message to the world that, like, the thing that is different about you, uh, it can be your superpower. As filmmakers, it's really fun to um, give the audience a surprise. And so knowing that we had this, like, deck of cards full of characters from all across the Spider-Verse that we could lay down anytime we felt like it was right. That was a, a real uh, privilege for us. So um, we, we always wanted to design it so that the, that the characters slowly came into the picture, that you like really focused on Miles from the start. And then slowly we would feather in these other people so that you feel like, just like Miles, your world is getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the movie grows. We wanted to elevate um, the, the way action storytelling is told on film sometimes. Because of animation, we can make them move as quickly and, uh, and, and boisterously as we want. Um, we have an amazing animation team that sat in front of their computers with mirrors like do, doing this <laughs> and like trying to figure out the perfect pose. And um, they spent a lot of time looking at, you know, skateboard videos and surf videos and acrobats and stuff to try to find the right reference. Um, so. The, these characters have a really special way of moving, and you can feel it on the screen. We have all of these spider people, so obviously there need to be a number of characters for them to fight. So uh, that's a whole a whole new takes on a bunch of villains that that people know, uh, and so being able to try and tell a story where a bunch of characters are fighting a bunch of other characters, but you can still tell what's going on and understand what the goal of the scene is, and everything is really clear, and the geography is clear. It's a real challenge, but luckily there are a lot of really talented people um, that work really hard to make it not just something that makes sense, but something that feels really cool.